big up to everyone um lovely family and lovely friends out there whatever you are watching a winning unity platform from thank you so much and i do really appreciate you i'm going to talk about ghana black stars versus uruguay tomorrow friday and the time is three o'clock gmt so if you're in ghana as well try to remind that as well and i'm going to give you my possible certain lineup um, that i feel like we should use against um, uruguay and the same time i'm going to ask you do you want Otuado to maintain the same squad that we play against Euro, um, South Korea or do you want some changes? You can drop your comment as well. But please, before then, let me just take your little bit time. Um, whatever you are and you want cars or you want washing machines, you want television, anything you want, check into COP and get a great deal. Or if you are here in Spain or you are in Holland, Germany, any country, and you have a lot of things you want to send it back to Ghana, Nigeria, in the country, and you do not know how to do it, contact us, check our numbers here, and get more information, and get a great deal as well. Um, guys, you know, when it comes to Ghana, we are complaining about the system, we are complaining about so many things are not good. I wanna, sometime, what make me happy um, when I see a young guy or a young lady try to make some impact for the society, it is something that really make me happy. You know, so whatever you are, check Temi Foundation right here and go and subscribe for Temi Foundation um, YouTube channel. And if there is some support, you can support her to also um, support people out there. I think it is a, 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 it will be very, very good. As a young lady, like this and try to she's not sitting down for the government to do everything but as a young lady like this and um, she came out to want to um, put impact for the society i think it is something that you and i need to help um, so that uh, things will be okay you know if we have everyone trying to come out to make some impact for our society I don't think that we will have a lot of problems like now how so many things are going on so once again go and check Temi foundation i would say as a foundation we want to give people equal opportunity while we ignite their lives and as they say water is life we believe when we give them good drinking water healthy water when we give them clean drinking and portable drinking water we are saving lives thank you so guys um sorry for taking your time once again let me go straight to the point um i feel like we should maintain um the first 11 that we play against South korea but i'm going to make one change on my first 11 i'm going to put here um guys you know i will be Okay, there we go. This will be my this will be my first eleven against um Uruguay. And a lot of people are talking about Anyak William that is is not putting a good performance about two matches, not getting goals. We need to understand, we need to give a little bit patient for Anyaki William to come. Anyaki William spent all his life here in Spain. So going to the Black Stars, we need a little bit patient and time. And Yaki William, I believe that by now he's getting worried as well because he's not getting good. So due to that, there will be a lot of pressure on him. So we need to just give him a little bit patient and time. And I think one thing that is not really happening as well, I feel that like we should um, play to top what it need a partner. I think that my personal opinion, and Yaki William need a partner either um Anthony Semenyo is good to be partner with Anyak William but if not Anthony Semenyo we can use Andre you so for here I'm going to give you uh my first 11 and my formation against um uh, Uruguay so the post um Lorenzo Tizigi Ziggy man on post I will still maintain him and the left I will, I will go for Baba Rahman and the center back, I will go for Mohamed Salasu alongside Daniel Amate. 
and the left, the right, I will be going for Ali Risseidu. Then the center midfielders, I will go for Thomas Tepati alongside Salem Summit. Then the wings, I will use Mohamed Kudus for the left wing. Then the right wing, I will use Kamal Din Suleimana. And the end of the day, I will tell you the reason why I'm coming in for Kamal Din Suleimana for Jordan Ayu. We all knew that Jordan Ayu performed very, very well against South Korea, but I'm going to tell you the reason why I will be dropping Jordan Ayu and bringing Kamal Din Suleimana in. So the front two, I will be using Andrea Yu alongside Anyak William. So the formation is 4-4-2 once again. Okay, guys. The reason why I will be dropping Jordan Ayu bringing Kamal Din Suleimana, um, not that Jordan Ayu is not a good player, very, very good player, not guess only how he performed in the field, but the experience as well. But my main reason why I will be bringing um, Kamal Din Suleimana, you know, Uruguay, um, most of their defenders are old players. Diego Gordon, 30 something years. A lot of them are old. So you need a player that can run with them. You need a player that can run the ball um, to overcome them. That is my main reason why I, I will be bringing Kamal Din Suleimana. And we all know when it comes to Kamal Din Suleimana, it, it has speed and it can dribble, it can shoot. That is my main reason why I feel like. Kamal Din Suleimana should come replace Jordan and you. And the second reason why I will be dropping Jordan and you bringing Kamal Din Suleimana is, you know, sometimes when a player performs one month so much and a lot of people are talking about him so much, sometimes it is hard for that person to come the second game to perform like that again, if you notice. Because the game against um, Korea, Jordan performed so m well, the two goals all we got from Jordan are you crosses. So when you go to social media everywhere, everybody is talking about Jordan and you, Jordan and you, Jordan and you. So it will let even the Uruguayans will put their eyes on Jordan and you. So I would like to start Kamal Din Suleimana and none of them may not know what Kamal Din Suleimana going to put. So on that, Kamal Din Suleimana will take advantage of that to punish the Uruguay's defenders. In the second half, we can able to introduce Jordan Ayu into the game. That is my main reason why I will be making one change. That is Kamal um, Din Suleimana coming for Jordan Ayu. And when it comes to the defense, it's our biggest problem, you know. The one that really surprised me, and not I'm not too much surprised, but you know, for some time ago, Daniel Amati was good, get to a point he was a little bit confused. But going to the World Cup, the player that really, really impressed me so much that maybe a lot of people are not really talking about is Daniel Amati. Daniel Amati is so a leader. If you ask me that putting Thomas Tepate and Daniel Amati, who should I go for a captain or leader for me um they are all good but i will go for daniel amati why because daniel amati at the back is commanding sometimes you see pointing hand go here giving instruction that is how a leader is supposed to be thomas the party is a great player but i always say the communication is a little bit difficult for thomas the party but when it comes to daniel amati for the defense oh guy um, is not guess how is putting effort, but the commanding is commanding for the back. I think is so wonderful, and it's something that I think Loris Atizigi going to the Uruguay game. He have to be mindful. He have to be commanding. That is the problem a lot of Ghanaians have with Jojo Walakot. Not Jojo Walakot is not a good player, a keeper, but commanding is a problem for him as well. So I think we need to also check on this and 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 talk to him so that he can able because the only person that will be seeing the pack 
very clear in the, the mistake is the goalkeeper. Because goalkeeper, sometimes you have chance to relax a little bit and observe things. But the players on the field, sometimes they will be so busy and confused sometimes. For so you, the keeper, if the ball is not coming to your side and uh, uh, they are going forward, you have time a little bit to observe and to make all your defenders stand on um, good position. So I think they need to talk to the keeper as well to observe those kind of things. Because if you check, our problem is defense and the, the right back and the left back. All the goals where we considered was coming from either from the right or the left hand side. So those players are going to play our right back and the left back. They have to be very smart, very intelligent to able to deal with um, these Uruguay players. So guys, this is what I feel like going to the Uruguay game. Um, Otoado um, should try to check on this area personally when it comes to our defense. When we concede two, go um, two goals in um, two minutes, some seconds for um, our first game, our second game, we concede uh, two goals within two minutes from seconds, meaning there's a problem on our defenders. So they have to check on that from the defenders and the goalkeeper. So <laughs>